All right here, so for a while now, I've been trying to come up with an easy to make armor. Something that just about anyone with access to a hardware store or online shopping or even yard sales and whatnot can get the components for cheaply and put together themselves. And this is what I've come up with so far. Uh, basically, it's just these nail plates and they are stapled to doubled over fabric. This is four ounce cotton canvas. You can see on the back here, there's the staples that you see here folded over. And it's got some flexibility and it's not that heavy either. That much of it weighs in at about four to five ounces. So you're probably not going to be able to do a full body armor, but maybe a vest that just covers the vitals. Because if you double it over that way, and you double it over again that way, on an area of about that large, you're talking about one pound to cover that much of the body. And an area about that large would cover, say, one pectoral muscle. And if you have two of those, you're talking about a sort of draped on harness that's two pounds to cover the front of your chest. And you probably need it to come down a little bit lower than that. But you could tack on multiple straps and buckles so it would perfectly conform to whatever shape it is being strapped to. You could even probably take a cold chisel or a vise to bend these a little bit so it would say sit on top of the forearm a little bit better. Now these plates cost anywhere from 30 to 50 cents each and um, nail plates are something that are common at hardware stores and you can get them online as well. You can usually buy about a hundred of them in bulk for 20, 30 bucks. This particular style I don't like very much because it has these pieces that jut out on the side with these holes that I'm not really using. From different manufacturers you'll find ones where the staples are cut into the plate itself and they don't have these little pieces on the end and you'll also find ones where there's no staples at all and there's just holes put in the plate sometimes there's just two holes like that sometimes there's four holes uh, i've even seen ones with just one hole in the middle so in the coming months, I'll probably be experimenting with this a lot more and see if I can develop it into something of a DIY. These plates in specific are 16 gauge and you'll find them between 12 and 16 gauge and overlapped like that, that effectively doubles their thickness. Then you add into it a little bit of give and you probably end up with uh something pretty substantial there. Well, that's it for now. Have a good one.